is up guys, it's Mike Jamemo here and welcome to my YouTube channel and most of all welcome to episode 20 of my Gothic 3 playthrough, I'm not entirely sure anymore, um, again, you know, just make sure to uh, check the title and uh, welcome, in this episode we're gonna go to Ben Sala and uh, complete all the possible quests there, including the mine in Lago. And uh, we're gonna kill some critters along the way. Do you know the way? <sighs> well, I hate those beasts. Hey Diego, do you know the way? Take that, rotten beast! I want to see if I can tame that fire lizard. beasts. Aww. No, that was not very nice, uh, Diego. I was turning him into my pet. <sighs> Come here. I want to loot these uh, little buggers. All of them. Now make sure to pick any cactus flower that you come across um, because uh, in Ben Sala you're gonna need some I'm not quite sure how many but you will need some for booze I'm also gonna venture a bit into the desert because uh, there must be a bunch of gas somewhere around here bunch of uh, how should I say corrupted you know, well, corrupted is a good word, I think. Corrupted nomads. <sighs> Take that, rotten beast! Oh, you asked for it! <sighs> ah! I hate those beasts! So do I. I know they're somewhere around here. Ooh, lions. Now I have a lion pet. Let's kill the other lions. Look at him, one male, the rest all females. <coughs> I didn't save, did I? Nope. So uh, if you guys want to skip the uh, loading screens, you know, make sure to check the description down below and uh, it will help you get past those in an instant. Now 
But yeah, that was a fail. Oh well, now I can try again to uh, tame a fire lizard. And actually keep it as a pet this time. I hate those beasts. <sighs> Diego. I hate those beasts. Who would have thought that a normal lizard would win versus a fire? But then again, you know, the Gothic 2 fire lizards are still the best. They at least spit fire, these do not. Take care of these jackals, and I'm gonna loot everyone, and then quick save. Well done. Miserable <laughs> 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 beast. But I now have the power, by the way, to literally transform into any beast, whether it's a blood fly, a scavenger, a meat bug, anything, just by looking at it. Which is nice, I'm not gonna use it too often, but uh, sometimes it'd be quite handy, you know. But if I really want to change into animals, I'll use my druid stones. I also hope that I'm able to get a hunter's armor, otherwise I can't collect that one. Which would be a shame, you know. But uh, I googled it, you know, just before I went to do Braga. Um, just to make sure, you know, that I still had someone alive that could sell me, t you know, sell me the armor. But, uh, Google only said, well at least forums of Gothic said that only Runok and Tunok, whatever his name was, the Shadow Beast Druid and the Snapper Druid were the only two who could sell you Druid's armor slash Hunter's gear. Um, if that is the case, they're both dead. was a necessary quest for the Orcs. <laughs> <sighs> Go and uh, check Gelden episode for that, and you will notice instantly what I mean, you know. But uh, if that is the case, then so shall it be, then I cannot get the Hunter's Armor, I'm not gonna cheat for it, you know. Not that I really need it, but it was more of a, um, mm, more of a uh, collectible, you know. Because uh, I am gonna collect all. I currently have all the human orc mercenary armors. Almost have 75% reputation with the orcs. Then I will get the orc commander armor, um, which means the human orc mercenary armor has been fully collected. I got the druid's rope, 
only he didn't have the gold for the ranger's outfit at the time, you know. And I would get all nomad armors. I would get the full um, divine artifacts gear of Adanos. I would get the water robe. Because those are the things that represent Adanos, you know. As a rebel, I will get the all the rebel I armors. I need the right key. Um, all the rebel armors, you know. Um, the fire mage's robe, the paladin's armor, which gonna be very, very expensive. The uh, rebel is going to be the most expensive playthrough when it comes to collecting armor, as well as the armors of the nomads. <laughs> and. Uh, Maybe the druids slash, you know, rebels. Well, rangers, my bad. And the Ashishin will get all the human orc armors, the hunter equipment. Well done. One second. Miserable beast. All the, you know, the rangers outfit at the very least, the druid rope not. Um, Rebel, I can also get the, uh, you know, the hunter's armor, but not allowed to get the druid's armor because the druid armor is a representative of Adanos, so it's only reserved for this play particular playthrough. The rangers are somewhat paladins of the water mages, you know. Well, of the druids, better said. Or as a servant of Balear, like I said, you know, I will get all the Hashishin armor, all the human or mercenary armors, and the black mage's robe. So that every playthrough has a bit of a collection of armors. I'm not gonna sell them, I'm gonna keep them at all costs. Just as a collector's item, I like to call it. Now let me quickly check out this vicinity here because I know there are ban well bandits, renegades and nomads somewhere around here. I can't only remember quite where. keep the wolf and the uh, lions alone for now, well, lionesses and the lions, because uh, that's where I died previously, you know, there were a bit too many too much. Zombies. that rotten beast indeed but still no nomads though Each path will have their own combat capabilities. Two-hander, this one. Um, Ashishin dual wields one-handed, and uh, Rebel slash Paladin, you know, will have one-handed shield. Three different combat systems. This guy will use Adonos magic, the bow. You know, Adonos magic and the bow. Let me put it that way. The 
rebel will use you know fire magic enos magic and uh the crossbow well done i hate those beasts and uh, Beliar will use whatever is better, you know, if he has a better bow than the crossbow, he will use the bow. If he has a better crossbow than his bow, he will use the crossbow, you know. Um, so each, you know, is a bit different. But uh, the, pa the black mage, as I like to call it, will be heavily built on black magic and thus needs little assistance of weapons, you know. Beliar is quite a powerful one. Especially the late game with summoning demon and, and such, you know. Um, let's see. A skeleton at 105. That takes quite a bit of time. And uh, demon is at 210. Pretty much about the same with this one. 100 I think, well 45 for Goblin, so it's a bit faster, and 205 for Golem. A Servant of Enos has nothing, but he can bless weapons, which is OP. Would also increase the value of the weapon as far as I know, or well, I'm not entirely sure. So he could literally, if he wanted to, bless every weapon, but it can't, does cost mana, you know. Lioness still here, and Diego is here as well. Now I'm gonna take care of these crawlers up here. Um, their quests related to Ben Sala. So I will just take care of those little buggers. They don't have any kinds of loot, even if you learned everything, which I did, except for Orc Hunter with the bow, and uh, what was the other one? Mastery of the bow, I think. Not quite sure. <laughs> Sorry for the lag. And the path of the chosen one, which is eventually gonna be my hardcore run, which requires about, you know, divided by the three play play th playthroughs, it needs about 100 likes. So let's say uh, 30, 34, 33, 33, you know, sample. Um, Adonis has 34, Enos and Beliar is 33, together makes 100. But only one video. In each gothic game so gothic one one video with the top likes let's say 10 likes you know will count towards gothic two two to three three and two and to lock into the entire playthrough you know um well to vote towards the hardcore run let me put it that way so for example if uh, gothic one has five votes gothic two has five votes um it's together as 10 votes you know two videos 10 votes the most liked video of the playthrough will be used towards the counting, so it's not really super easy to unlock it. You know, it requires some support. But um, Gothic 3 will then have, let's say, 10 likes, you know, which is 20 in total. And then Gothic 3 Forsaken Gods has, uh, let's say, 13 likes. And Gothic 4 has 5 likes. Each playthrough, you know, and together it gets to a hundred plus hardcore run unlocked. <laughs> 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 
what hardcore run is live stream only. I have to do a hardcore run while being live. So that people literally can see that I did not cheat. So that people can see that I did not die, etc. You know, the basic rules of a hardcore challenge. Now, RPG hardcore challenges are different from, let's say, you know, fair hardcore challenge shooter. Um, but they will, the rules will be explained in each gothic playthrough, how it's gonna work. Um, if enough people voted, I'm gonna make a system that uh, allows the viewers to vote, and if you pick the wrong path, I will suicide at the boss, something like that, you know, if the viewers are right enough. <coughs> But Gothic 3 will eventually have 4 runs, Risen series will have 4 runs, while Fear 1 and 2 has only 1 run, Fear 3 has 2, you know. It all depends on the game, Skyrim will have 11 runs in total. <coughs> 10 vanilla races and one hardcore run. If people want it, obviously. It's gonna take a long time to uh, complete one run, which is gonna be a no mark one. But, uh, let alone 10, you know. But I do want to get it done eventually. Because each race has a specific build, you know, at least for me. Major skills, minor skills differences, you know, capabilities differences, just like the Gotha games. Divided all the builds throughout the paths, and in the hardcore run, it's jack of all trades. What's my lioness doing, by the way? <coughs> A never ending. Look at them cornering me like the boss. But I use the in-game faults as as a boss. <laughs> I hate those beasts. But I guess my lioness is dead, and if so, where is the corpse? Because I want its loot. Alright, so let's quickly search through all these corpses. Of oh, these sand crawlers, a wolf should rather pit, rather too really far stand out. Although I don't see it. Maybe it's still alive. I don't know. Doesn't really matter. Let's uh, kill the remaining ones.
King Sorel. It's not a, a smart quick save, but you know, I didn't quick save so. <laughs> Miserable beast. Indeed. Oh, by the way, I totally forgot the uh, chest, the fixed chest that I uh, came across. Oh, did I? Broken. Uh, no, I don't think I did. Ah, uh, well, you will see when uh, the time is right. You know, it's a uh, quest related towards where is the guru. You can start the quest over here. On this little island there is a chest, if you open it, it will spawn a creature, that creature has a key. Then go to Braga and look aside the mountains, there should be a crack somewhere, two ogres are guarding it. You will find a fixed chest, which has the second book of Where is the Guru. The third one will be somewhere between Sildan and the Pass, it will summon three, four creatures kill them it will give you loot and such and you will get another key which you can find in Nord Mine then you complete the quest by finding out the location of a guru which is uh, connected to the gurus of Gothic 1. Um, Alright already checked the entire cave just making doubly sure but uh, I will get the quest starter at when I'm at Bakaresh. Here you will find a army of undead and a chest altar right over here. Some chests in these games you know drop random randomized loot. If you had opened a certain amount of chests the rewards getting better and better and better etc. Um, I can't do those yet because I can't open metal chests or large chests due to a lock picking disqualifications you know but that is because this guy will have the magical capabilities of opening locks around 230 um, ancient knowledge which is this one with this I can literally open everything and thus it's the reason why I'm not gonna you know train the opening locks this one you have by default and this these two, you know, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna learn that with this path. Would be a waste. Oh shit! I all tapped. My apologies. I uh, push the talk button, you know, it is alt. And uh, if I want to open slash close my inventory, which is tap, you get all tap, which means you know switching screens. You guys didn't notice any of it except for the uh, random pop-up and the oh sorry you know but uh, you know it's not a good combination but I should just learn to release alt when I'm gonna go top you know <laughs> but oh well you know let's talk with the residents here and uh, see what kind of quests we can do around here I'm not sure what happened to my lioness, but uh, you know, it doesn't really matter. If I need a new pet, I will get a new pet. You know, you know why? Because again, so let's talk with this guy here, yeah? Sancho. I am Sancho. I can't use any more guards, and you don't look like a slave, so what do you want? Do you have work for me? I'm already paying enough people to stand around doing nothing. But if you want real work, then I've got something for you. 
What do you have for me to do? I have not had a word from our tunnel in Largo for ages. Fabio's gold deliveries have not arrived. Something is not right. Go to Largo, take a look around. Do you have anything else for me to do? Hmm. Yes, actually. I am worried about my men. Being that close to gold will make anyone weak eventually. So talk to them and keep your ears open. If anyone acts suspicious, then tell me. Where is Lago? Lago is northeast of here. It's just a couple of huts on the coast. You couldn't even call it a tiny village, but at least they have a tunnel there. And I'm not getting any more gold from there, damn it all! I'll check it. All right, so let's talk with the cook. Let's see, ah, bookshelf, good. Here it says something about alchemy. Our 60 alchemy is, by the way, maxed, so if you get above that, no really need for it, but, you know, you still can get it because you can. Hey, I'm Eusebio. The alchemist, I presume. And distiller of top-notch moonshine. Whatever you need, I can get you anything. Tell me about the city. Man, we're sitting right here on a gold vein, and there is not a nugget in it for me. How I would love to creep round here at night and empty all the chests. Why don't you? Are you nuts? I'm glad when I can drag my belly out of bed in the mornings. Can you teach me something? Sure. Brewing potions is my business, and I have a recipe for some really fierce booze. But before you can have that, you must bring me ten cactus blossoms. Here are your cactus blossoms. Oh, good. I almost thought I would have to walk all the way and get them myself. Here's the recipe for you. Let's check out the recipe. Cactus booze. Show me your goods. Just give me a bit to sell some of my stuff, damn hiccups. Now, you need ice wolf skins for Lago, so uh, I recommend making sure to get them before you actually are going to do the quests in Lago, because uh, it's connected to a quest in Silden. You have to bring him about 10 wolf skins, I hope could also be 20 but I hope it's 10 10 ice wolf skins let's say 10 you know bring it to him he will give you a you know um, what was it called a blueprint of a ship you know which he drawn when he was so stoned and uh, he wants to trade it for a couple of ice wolf pelts um, I did them in the episode after fairing I think um, before I went to continue to Namora, as far as I know at any rate. Um, but I got them, you know, before coming here, so that I can instantly complete that quest as well. Get the blueprint, teleport quickly to Silden, deliver it to that guy, get some gold, and have that mission completed as well. Welcome to Banirai. I bet you haven't come to break your back working, right? Well now. Friend. This city is a treasure chest, albeit a well-guarded one. If you want to chat about gold for a while, bring me some first. Let's have a little chat. Fine. There are basically three ways to get your hands on the gold. Either you swing a pickaxe, you go up against everybody at once, or you use stealth. What if I want to swing a pickaxe? Then you're a greater idiot than I thought. <laughs> because first, you need to earn access to the tunnels. But hey, if that's what you want, I've still got a pickaxe I could sell you. What exactly do you mean by stealth? You must have nimble fingers. And you had better wait until everyone's asleep. I can show you how to get to the chests, but it'll cost you. What if I want to take on everyone at once? You're a strong fellow, and I'm no wimp myself. 
I also know a few slaves who would surely fight with us, but you should be well prepared. So look around for a while and get an overview. What's your job here? I started out just like you. However, that was a long time ago. I toured the arenas for a while, but that wasn't really my cup of tea. Now, I'm standing guard here. It may not be very lucrative, but I know a lot about what's going on. Show me your goods. Yeah, nothing. Well, have you followed the call of the gold too? I am Vasco, steward of Benerai. Do you have work for me? Crawlers keep coming from the west. Recently, the beasts have ventured rather close to us. Too close. They've already eaten a couple of slaves. I want you to deal with them, especially those tough beasts. They must have a nest somewhere. Just what does a steward do? I take care of the slaves, count the gold, organize the guards, everything that needs to be done. The crawlers are history. Did you take out the whole nest? Well, I flattened everything that was running around. All right. Here is your pay. Thanks. Hey, you, where do you think you're going? Well, I thought I'd take a look around. Yeah, I know. But you aren't fooling me. You're here because you're hot for some quick gold. They have a mine in Benarai. There must be something there I can get my hands on, right? But you won't set foot in the tunnels, got it? In any case, not until you make yourself useful first. Let me tell you, I don't like you. So I'm going to keep an eye on you. Go to Sancho and let him give you work. Otherwise... Otherwise what? Otherwise I'll have to assume that you're only here to steal the gold. And I wouldn't want to be in your shoes then. So you'd better hurry up. So, I see you've made yourself useful. Carry on then. If you need training, come to me. And do some more work. Don't forget, I'm keeping an eye on you. What are you doing here? I'm guarding the gold and making sure every passing stranger doesn't start digging. The only thing that matters to you is that I'm guarding the gold. Got it? Would you teach me how to fight? As a Shishin, I will do this. As a rebel, I will do this. And uh, as a rebel, I will also get crossbow and shield. But, you know. Don't cause any trouble here. Got You'd it? better go now. Do you have work for me? Work? The damn nomads are hanging around here everywhere. I'll pay you a bounty for every nomad leader you get. If that's what you mean by work, then I've got work for you. Who's on your list? Shakyor the Lion. He raided Lago. Hurit. He raids the oasis in the south with his people. And Yespas. He lurks on the roads and ambushes travelers. Show me your water. Where did you get the raw ore? There was a fellow not long ago who needed water and didn't have any gold. 
Do you know who the fellow was? Hmm, my memory isn't so good. Here, maybe this will improve your memory. Yes, now I remember. That was Sugat from Bensala. I think he works for the alchemist. After he got the water, he went straight south. Straight south, huh? Let's check it out, go, uh, Diego. I keep saying Gorn, but... to the ruins over there I think but that's not the guy I'm looking for so good is uh, one of the uh, nomads but I'm looking for the renegade nomads Either they were standing between the road, between... Oh, here they are. Stop it, right now. Stop right there. I'll skewer you. So bad, really? You don't say, my friend. All right, so let's go to Sugut. I think he's connected to Largo, but I'm not entirely sure, but that's alright, you know. That location over there, that one, that one, you know, um, there you have to bring the water mage to Vatras. I will get Vatras by liberating Lago with Shakyor the Lion and afterwards I will kill Shakyor the Lion due to a Hashishin quest. But I will first have to gain his Druid Stone legally, you know, since I'm a Druid myself. In order to consume their powers I must get them legitimately. My better boom.
I hate those beasts. Let's see if there were chests up there. Subut is over there. I'll walk through it, which is a quest for one of these nomads, you know. Welcome, wanderer. Come drink some water with us. What are you doing here? We have been hunting, and now we're headed for the oasis. But a few Hashishan have made themselves at home there. Can you teach me anything? We share our water, and we share our knowledge. Teach me something about hunting. Show me your goods. Um, poison arrows, please. The teeth, please. And the arm I can get yet. You only get that once you've earned it. Thanks. I already know that. Uninteresting. Normally, the these stone tablets do give uh, ancient knowledge, but if you reach a certain amount, you already know the story, you know. Um, so you can't get anything from it then. But let's go quickly to the oasis and uh, talk with Sugut. See if he has anything to sell or whatever, you know, some quest related. I think the only quest that he has is killing these guys, but I cannot kill these guys because I have to bring Vatras to them. I already know that. And, you know, since this guy is gonna work for the nomads in the end, um, I might as well kill the Yashishin. Screw the Ashishin. Because if I want to get access to Ishtar, the legitimate way with this particular guy, I have to kill Water Mages. And uh, honestly, I don't want to kill any Water Mage. Druids are fine, you know, but not the Water Mages. Because the Water Mages are the true representatives of Adanos. Well, Traveler, are you on the run? Why on the run? Undead. Nomads. There are plenty of reasons to be on the run, but never mind. Drink a bit of water and rest. What are you doing here? Me? I'm the boss here. This is my oasis. Well, you know, the nomads are making life difficult for us. They're always ready to attack us. Especially at Hurit. Perhaps you could take care of it. Where do I find Hurit? Not far from here, in the south. Mostly they hang around ancient ruins. 
What needs to be done? Purit and his band are lurking nearby. They are waiting to steal our water, so go and wipe them out. No, no. So this guy technically got nothing except for wiping out Hurit. So let's go to Hurit and do the opposite, wiping him out. Go gone. Alright guys, so give me a couple of minutes, I'm gonna get myself some shit to drink, go to the toilet again, etc. Um, so if you guys can give me a couple of minutes, it would be much appreciated, which let me let him sit at the fire. Be right back guys. Alright, I'm back, but well, I'm also gonna roll the cigarette, so let me in meanwhile talk with Hurit and uh, you know, let's quick save first. Let us attack the Oasis together. Fine, we can attack as soon as you're ready. Let's attack now. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, get out of here. Smart boy. I've still got it. Alright, so that we're 
Tady je hašišin. Sometimes you have to make a choice. Go first to break. Hey you! What are you doing sneaking around? Hey you! What are you doing sneaking around? And leave me alone. They honestly don't care about the loot. I would always take the loot. It's at least gold, you know. You gotta do what you gotta do to survive. Beast. Oh, you asked for it. Ah! Ah! Take that, rotten beast. I'm gonna die. I hate those beasts. Ah! I was a bit too slow. So, here we go again. I'll tear your head off. The final hour has come. Uh. 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 Stop right there. Uh. 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 Am I good or am I good? That's it, no reward. Not even a reward, really. Oh, what a shitty choice that was then. Oh well, I have to join the nomads nevertheless. Probably did got XP, you know, for the completion and such, but... 
I was hoping for a bonus reward or something, you know, like a bit of gold for the trouble. But no. I should really learn how to resist the poison. Quick save again. Oh, I did quick save. Good, good. I'm gonna send uh, go back Diego now. back. You know where to find me. So that uh, I can teleport so in a bit back to um uh, what was his name again? Ben Salah. Benirai, what was it? Ben Salah. No, Benirai, my bad. To uh, complete the quests and such. not gonna help. What a bug of bunches. <laughs> what the fuck are those guys doing, seriously? Yeah, go get him, Bloodfly. Go get him. Don't you have anything to do? Yup, dying by blood flies.
Teach me something about hunting. Carry on like that. No, I remember why. Carry on like that. <clears throat> good, good. Thank you very much. Now this is a good omen. Go back now. You know where to find me. Yeah, we'll be going back towards Braga. All right, so let me quickly teleport back to Benerai. Yespis will never ambush anyone ever again. Good thing you dealt with him. Now the road to Braga is safe once more. Here is your gold. Well, if you will, you know, keep Sugut alive, he will help you find, um... What was his name again? The, uh, Ore Thief. Eusebio is acting suspicious. Eusebio is a bum. He chops up grass and distills booze. Maybe he's guzzled too much of his own stuff. Whatever. Leave him alone. We need him. Lucar is after your gold. Is he really? That thief creeps in here and... Good work. And now make sure that the fellow disappears from my city. Sancho sent me. You better get out of Benarai. I can't believe it. You sold me out, you filthy swine. No, I won't go. You will go instead. Directly to Beliar. I'll skewer you alive. <laughs> going to be a fight, man. Knock him down. Yeah! You showed him who's boss. Ready. Nothing. Nothing whatsoever. Go eat. All right, Lago. So uh, the next quests are for Lago. Let me talk quickly. Can we use CBOC? All right. So, anyways, guys, this is. Let's see quickly one more. Forty. Mm. But uh, the next quest is in Lago. And uh, since Lago is going to be a different episode, you will find the continuance of these quests in Lago. 
this episode so uh, thank you guys for watching and uh, if you like what you see feel free to thumbs it up um, feel free to give positive and negative feedback and uh, if you subscribe to my channel please hit the notification bell and you will be notified whenever a video goes public slash uploaded you know depending on whether it's the first or the second run but uh without further ado guys i see you next time and uh in the next episode we're gonna go to lago and uh complete quest there so uh yeah thank you guys for watching and i will see you all next time <laughs>